Um, let's come back to the, uh, the energy picture, because we have a lot of uh, uh, clients in the energy sectors here, and let's talk a little bit more about the kind of benefits, competitive benefits, other kinds of benefits that the U.S. is reaping from the, uh, the boom in uh, unconventional oil and gas. We talked about some of them in the context of the, the dollar. Just wondering if you, you sort of talk a little bit more about some of the other positives that, that, that are coming and can, will come from this. Well, I mean, it's really, there's really two phases of the, of, of the benefits. So there's the, there's the initial you know, ramping up in production, um, which generates jobs directly uh, in, the, in the energy industry and also in industries where, which, the, which you supply the energy industry and then those people who have those jobs uh, spend on other goods and services and we have the, the estimate 1.7 million jobs already um, directly, indirectly induced the, you know, the total benefit from the ramping up of unconventionals with estimates taking that to 3 million by, uh, by 2020. So that's, that's if you like, that's the, the, the first phase of the benefits. Then the second phase of, of, the, of the benefits is the manufacturing sector essentially taking advantage of the low competitive costs. Right. That, takes, that takes longer to come through. And we're looking at the, the chemicals industry, for example. So it's really in the, it's really in the mid decade that the big investments are being put in place in order to expand the productive capacity, in order to allow greater production of chemicals uh, going forward. So it's, it's, a, it's not something that, it's not a switch that goes on overnight. It's something that over the next decade helps to ramp up the, the, the growth in, uh, in US manufacturing production. Right. And, and just to add to what Nigel's saying, the number of other things that sort of come into play a little bit as well. One is it's, it's attracting foreign direct investment. In other words, overseas, companies investing in the U.S., and it is, it is encouraging onshoring in terms of, and chemicals industry is a perfect example of that, where for decades, chemicals industry invested overseas in terms of production, now they're coming back to the U.S. Um, uh, for the first time in at least three decades or so, and so, you know, that, that is part of the, the positive story, but it's, yeah. I mean, I, I think people have to be you know, a bit careful um, if they're thinking, say, about employment and you know, high unemployment rate, looking for, for future jobs. Um, where will the jobs come from? Even with this benefit, manufacturing is not going to be a big job generator in the, in, in the US. The bulk of the, the increase in jobs, the next I get it, it's got to come from, from the services sector. It's just that the productivity levels in manufacturing uh, are so high uh, and rising that it's, it's never going to be uh, a major generator of additional jobs. Yeah. 